Okay, hello everyone. Wait, welcome everybody. So we are on Facebook Live and this time I'm gonna introduce myself because last time I forgot to introduce myself. So my name is Alexandra Winters and I run Olenko's Kitchen and today I have a huge pleasure to introduce my dear friend Sandra Bologna all the way from Florida. Hi. Hello. Hello, hello. everybody. Hi. Thank you, Alex. Thank you for having me. She calls me I Alex. Will. So you can call me Alex, Alexandra, Olenko, however you want it. So what do you call yourself? I mean, it depends, you know. So in Poland, <laughs> they call me Olenko Ola. In, uh, in, in America, they call me Alexandra Alex, you know. So whatever. Yeah, whatever people like. Well, All my students favorite. call me Mrs. Winters, you know. So it, it, yeah. So today we're going to be talking about my favorite topic, and I know yours too. So yes. Sandra makes these gorgeous necklaces. Look at them for essential oils. We're going to be talking about essential oils. I'm actually wearing one. I don't know if you can see it. I love them. They let me put some. So they are so, so gorgeous. And then I'm going to introduce Sandra. So yeah, she's going to show you. We're going to have some so much fun today. I wish there was a smell button so you can yeah. smell it. Oh my God. That's like in going into the future. We need smell button on social media. When I'm cooking, always like, you know, I want to share the smells, you know, and then the essential oils. But these are gorgeous. So we're going to be talking about this. So do you, do you want to add something or should I read your bio first? So we, we can introduce yeah. you to the viewers. Okay. okay. Yes? Okay. Okay, introduce me. Okay, so Sandra, it's a multi-level, multi-passionate person. So her bio is very extensive. So let me read it to you. So Sandra Bologna is also the founder of Tinkerbell Gems and uh, she grew up in Western Pennsylvania. She earned multiple graduate degrees in social work and educational psychology before she moved to sunny South Florida and became a teacher in public schools. She has counseled and taught, te uh, taught teachers and students of all ages through, oh, oh, sorry, of all ages through five through adults. She expanded her training in spiritual studies and became a mi minister in 1985. Her healing work has taken her beyond counseling to learn to remove energetic implants, emotional blocks, genetic mismas, toxic beliefs, and tough <laughs> forms, as well as entity attachments. She practices essential oils techniques for optimal emotional, spiritual, and physical health and is a holographic kinetics practitioner. She creates healing jewelry using optimal energetics for the highest and healthiest intentions for those who wear it. She's a gluten-free vegan. So there you go. <laughs> a really, really long bio and she's amazing. We, we met actually, I don't know, eight or nine years ago on a trip from Young Living Essential Oil Company to Egypt and Jordan. That's how we met for essential oils. And I fell in love with Sandra and her gorgeous jewelry. In 2010. 2000, so seven years ago. Well, it was February 2010. Okay, we so almost eight years. We okay, we were on the same bus. The so, bus. The so bus. if any of our essential oils friends watching, hello, we miss you. We should do like a reunion soon. So. Oh, I know, and I have yes, the Egyptian crowd. I have, I have um, bee a bracelet made with the beads I got from Egypt. Wow! Oh yeah, remember them with the with the uh, yeah. scarabs. Yeah, the, the, scarab? the uh, alabaster scarabs. That we yeah, got. I remember. King Tut's, King Tut's tomb. And also, we forgot to add that Sandra is a huge lover of cats. Like I, Sandra has a beautiful cat. I don't know, maybe he will come, Romeo, who is adorable. Romeo. Romeo. Yeah, he, he's so, so sweet. But so tonight we're going to be talking about essential oils, about healing jewelry, about crystals a little bit, and some vegan food and substitute what we can do. And also I'm going to be doing a webinar in two weeks. And Sandra is going to be my guest because she's also a um, person who is really, really, uh, she can give you extremely um, good information about Biomat, which is something that I sleep on it and it's made of amethyst crystals, you know, so there's so much information that we can learn from Sandra. So I'm going to be learning from you today because you, you like, multi, as I said, multi-passionate person. So did I forget Thank something? Thank you. Thank you. Did you forget anything? I know you remembered more than I could think of. Okay, so uh, first of all, I think we should introduce our viewers to essential oils. Some may know because they know us, but some may not know. And I know there's there's a lot of 
confusion about essential oils because those days there are so many companies selling essential oils, claiming that they are real essential oils. So, uh, would you like to uh, maybe talk about this? Oh, sorry. I was trying to share. No, what happened? Is like you, I was trying to watch it's my okay. Phone. Yeah, so stop it or I'll mute it. Yeah, that's happened to me all the time. So, so would you be, I know, able to explain, you know, in your own words? Well, how... essential oils are the life force of a plant. Mm -hmm. So it's like uh, how our blood is to us is what an essential oil is to a plant. It's mm -hmm. essential because a plant cannot live without it. So when you have the life force of your blood, if somebody sucked the blood out of you, you'd be dead. Okay. Yes, we can't so, live without blood. Yeah, okay. So it's the same with an essential oil. So many people, you know, herbs are powerful, but mm -hmm. essential oils are more powerful because the essential oils are the life force of the of the plant, whereas the herb is the dried part that was left over. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, that's so now keep in mind that in an ancient text it was said that uh, the, when you look at the trees the fruit will be your food and the leaf will be your medicine mm -hmm. and that's so essential oils are made not only from leaves they're not really made from fruit they're made from leaves and barks and roots and so forth and um, different parts of the plant do make different essences and have a little different um, characteristics and how we use essential oils so should I get into that how yes. we use essential oils so if you're not the more you want to use plants so in your essential. daily life so when if you're not getting plants at least you can get them from the essential oils now if we all lived in the Garden of Eden and everything was unpolluted you could just walk outside and grab the plant that you need and crush it and there you would have your essential oil, your essence. If you were walking in a garden, you can smell the aromas and the fragrance because it's just being released mm -hmm. with the moisture in the air and so on and so forth. But um, so essential oils have been around for a long time and there are three, well, I say there's three grades. I've seen people say there's more grades than that, but specifically there's three grades. There's um, perfume grade, Mm -hmm. which is what most people are familiar with and what you find in the malls <laughs> when you go shopping mm -hmm. at the mall. Yeah. There's food grade, which you may find um, in grocery stores or usually the ethnic stores might have food mm -hmm. grade oils. And then you have therapeutic grade oils. The therapeutic grade oils, um, they all come from plants. They're all made in different ways. Now, Young Living is very special because they... Mm -hmm. uh, create the oils um it's not a company you've worked the harvest haven't you alex yes yeah. i've been to harvest i've been to winter harvest yeah it's amazing yeah well i didn't go to winter harvest i went to a summer harvest and did it was a melissa harvest it was mm -hmm. supposed to be a lavender but the lavender wasn't ready and melissa is very particular in when you can get it and so it's not like we get up in the morning and we go harvest the plants no it doesn't mm -hmm. work that way we take um the equipment and we test the leaves to make sure that the glucose is at the right place. So if the glucose is right to be picked in this place of the field and not in this place, then we can harvest this place. And that might not be the case until three o'clock in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. So we may sit around all day or do other things in the day, but not get the plants because we do not harvest the plants until they're ready. And um, that's one of the different things about um, essential oils, or Young Living, I mean, and that's, that's what's done there. And then there's a whole process from there on. So Young Living also encourages their distributors to work a harvest, and um, it's growing and growing all the time. And that's and called seed to seal process, process that, that we are able to see what so it's you know, one the of the steps. Yeah, yes. yeah, I mean, so we can actually see, you know, so everything is open so we, we we there is nothing you know behind the doors no secrets exactly exactly and um, 
That's one of the best ways to get Gary's attention. Yes, Gary <laughs> Young, the founder of yeah. of Young Living. When I was at the uh, balsam fir uh, harvest in Idaho, it was in the winter time, so you, it has to be particular temperature because if it's too cold, the needles of the you know of the balsam fir is not going to produce the oils. If it's going to be too warm, it's not going to pr produce the oils. So same like you said, you know, with Melissa, there is like a small window, you know, when you can actually. I mean, you can harvest and try to make it, but you're not going to make good quality therapeutic right, great right, essential oil exactly. so that's the difference you know so when you're buying i was in uh i'm not gonna say the word but i was in the departments not departments but one of those big stores all over the country and they were claiming you know they're selling essential oils for like five dollars and they had diffusers so you know mm -hmm. when you're buying essential oils make sure that you you know educate yourself that you're getting you know good quality therapeutic great essential oils always yeah, so educate people, people don't know people no. just don't know and um there's a difference Mm -hmm. And um, your life can change if you're using the right oils. Mm -hmm. your life I'm smelling change. the oils. I'm smelling from your necklaces. It's just, I, I, yeah, I wish you can all smell the oils. What oil do you have? Well, um, this, this oil, I, I think there's, I have abundance and oh, um, I love that one. build your dream in here. Mm -hmm. I have, this is my, uh, the one with the Buddha. I love this necklace that you make uh, and uh, has many different crystals in it. It has actually Sutron. Oh, I, it's one of I like my that. favorite. I know it's like it's supposed to be for men, but I know when ladies love it too. I love this oil. And then in this one, I have basil. I love basil too. I don't know, like, it's like basil is one of my favorites. Just gives me like, I don't know, clears my mind. So, and then cool. here, I don't know what I have. I have to smell it. Peace and calming. So all the good oil. So, okay. so. Can you tell us uh, what else do, do we want to say before we move on to your gorgeous jewelry? Well, there's um, a few, there's three primary ways that we use the essential oils. And um, one is topically, which is the English model. And um, that's where most people learn in massage school to dilute and massage on the skin. Mm -hmm. So that's predominantly what people know. Um, then there's the German model, which is to diffuse. And mm -hmm. Here is the diffuser. Inhale. I have one of the diffusers. So you can put it in your, in your um, diffuser and put it in your house, or you can, mine's, my diffuser is going over there, mm -hmm. my Aria, and um, you can put it in your hands and mm -hmm. just inhale. Mm -hmm. um, and the third way is internally, because I'm drinking some Ninja Red, which is another product of Young Living's that's very good for your eyes and your supports the eyes and the heart and I have a lot of oils in this actually and these are uh, vitality lines so FDA approved oils mm -hmm. so you can use them internally or you can use them in your food and uh, I love to use them in the when I'm cooking I love to use them in my truffles or raw chocolates you know I love to make raw chocolate so I know you too so yeah these are great so always make sure especially when you're using internally and then you, that you're using good quality you know therapeutic great essential oils not like the one for you know five dollars that you buy in the mall so and that's the one that we uh, that's the third way which is internal use which mm -hmm. is called referred to as neat it's when you take the oil neat and you put it on your skin or you take it internally. And um, that's taken from the French model. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes for those who don't have the diffuser, they can actually, uh, I told this to my sister in Poland, you can put it in a bottle and you know mix it with uh, um, water, water, good water, filter water, or maybe distilled water, and you can like spray it, you know, so you, that's kind of like you're diffusing in the air too. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love, you know, for those who don't have diffuser. Don't put it on the candle. I know they sell those like candle burners when you put the oil because it will destroy the properties of the oil. Yes. Well, um, yeah, that's the thing. The kind of oils that you buy on an oil ring and uh, that's not. Those are not the. Are, you don't, when you heat the oil, you're mm -hmm. making a chemical change. Yeah. So the, the diffusers that we use just fractionate the oil. Mm -hmm. They either fractionate it straight or they m make it in an ultrasonic mist with with water. Yeah, and I love. I mean, I'm I, I'm a teacher like you, so like I love my students. Always say, you know, like oh, I love. You know, what are those smells? Or when I was in Poland, my nephew, you know, loved the oils. Like I love those necklaces because, like, even I'm at the airport. You know, when you're going in the plane. 
you you so restricted like the amount of oils that now you can take or like liquids so i love them because they don't even know you can that take there is liquids a liquid on the plane now I mean, like just very little, you know, Three but I'm, I'm saying oh. I'm sneaking, you know, my little oil. They don't even know. They think it's a jewelry. Oh, no, so, yeah. it's yeah. great. Yeah, nobody, so, nobody has to check the liquid. Yeah, in them. so I know they don't. But I, I just love them. So can you tell yeah. us um, how did you get the idea of these? Well, I guess when I started using the oils, which is 17 years ago, wow. and I went to my first convention in 2001. Um, People were wearing these, they were um, on a string, and they were wooden vials. Mm -hmm. And they had the, like a little perfume vial in it. You know, if you buy mm -hmm. perfume at the mm -hmm. store, or, mm -hmm. or if you get mm -hmm. go to the super, what do you call it, the department store, mm -hmm. and they give you a perfume. Well, you know, I stay away from those places anymore because it's really toxic. Mm -hmm. I mean, I walk through the cosmetic department as fast as I can. Uh, sorry, but I do. Because... Um, there's a lot of perfumes that they want to spray on you. Oh, especially now in the fall, all this like cinnamon, fake cinnamon. Oh, really? And all oh, this, yeah, it's yeah. Like all this, it gives me headache. Like I'm just like. Oh. Exactly. Well, I can tell you when I first started using the oils, um, I got a headache from diffusing. Just sharing this in my group. I, I, I got a headache from diffusing the therapeutic grade oils. So what happens when you start using oils is you begin a detox mm -hmm. okay so what happens is the oils have their own divine intelligence and they go into the body and they know what to do so let's say you take something to do something um you take a medication to do a certain thing okay well the oil goes and it clears a thing is what it does it, it knows where to go okay so when you take an essential oil, it will go where it's needed and it'll mm -hmm. cleanse the area. And if you don't, you need to always up your water intake. Always up your water intake when you start using the Young Living oils because you will begin a detox. So less is more mm -hmm. at first. Um, you know, diffuse for 15 minutes, maybe a couple times a day. Put your oils on, only a drop you know of the different oils that you use you don't need to pour it on mm -hmm. sometimes people think more is better no not, not because necessary. they are so potent that one little drop is like it took so many pounds of like you know rose petals or all like for example lemon they do from the red and, and the the, um, the, rind. the skin the rind, yeah so i don't know how many pounds of like you know lemons or limes they have to use you know so they are very very potent so yeah definitely less is better and actually, it's a good thing you mentioned that because the the citrus oils are the only oils um, that have a shelf life. Yeah, because then... Because they come from the actual rind of the fruit. Mm -hmm. So their shelf life is about five years. Whereas the other essential oils don't have a shelf life. Mm -hmm. They'll last. As long as they're in appropriate storage and clothes, they will last. Like from ancient Egypt, like when they opened the King Tut's... Uh, yes. Uh, Tom's they found essential oils and they you know they survived for thousands you know for hundreds of years thousands because they and they were more valuable than gold back then but yeah they are so so potent you know yeah depending on the oil but mm -hmm. yeah that was so much fun our trip that should be another streaming <laughs> <laughs> a memories yeah that was a great great very uh, life-changing trip yeah. and that uh, created a whole community mm -hmm. of those of us that went yeah, that was amazing. So, uh, so you got inspired by 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 these oh. oils at the convention, and so, then... no. So what I they didn't have anything that was kind of cute, like jewelry. Yeah, it was you know they beautiful. They were be they were nice. They were wood, but they were just uh, simple. And um, so I came up with these. And these are hand blown. I don't blow them, but I design them, and my partner blows them, and um, they are all one of a kind because they're hand blown. And they have crystals, which crystals have properties. Well, the, the bottles don't. Yeah. The bottles no, no, no. But I'm talking about so, like some of the uh, some of them or the or the necklace. Yes. So the bottles are glass. This was, this was my first design right here. Mm -hmm. I have it. You have one of those too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, you have. You don't have it with the gems. No, but I have it on the okay. on the. Stream. I can't see. Yeah, I have it on the. Okay, 
So let me show you this was my first design. So I came up with this thing with ribbons. Mm -hmm. That's what I have. Mm -hmm. So I came up with the design and I didn't know how to do it. So I went to my local beading store and I said, I need you to teach me how to do this. And they said, oh, we teach that class in two weeks. I said, no, I need it now because I have to make them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so basically, um, let's see, can you see this? Can, yeah, can you yeah, bring it like that higher? Mm -hmm. Yep. So they're sterling silver and gems. Now this one has a shell, okay, but um, and they're sterling silver and the bottle. And then I put them on ribbons. And then you can, I like to wear it short, but pe there's like three or four ways you can wear these. You, I think, have a bottle on a ribbon, right? Yeah, I have a bottle on the ribbon. It's not as so long. So this is how I first sold them, mm -hmm. like this. So you oh, take, okay. you take it, and you put it on. Um, and you loop it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Like a scarf. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. So then we can't see it. Yeah, you have to bring it higher. Okay, yeah. perfect. So mm -hmm. basically, this is my first design. So I took me an hour and a half to make one. I made a dozen. I took them uh, ten years ago to the convention in Washington DC and they sold in 15 minutes. People had their hand their like money in my face. And you know, they wanted them. And that's how it started. Mm -hmm. 10 years ago. <laughs> uh, very very cool. Yeah, she and she has so many different designs and the you know, holidays are coming and these are perfect, you know, for those who first of all sometimes we have these people that we don't know what to buy. And these are perfect for teachers. These are perfect for family members. These are perfect for yourself to gift it yourself. And you know, you always have you know your favorite essential oil with you. And yeah, you can. You're also gonna show us. You have some uh, earrings, yes, that you make. You have bracelets. Well, just this past year, I came out with a new line of jewelry um, because I found that you know those of us that have been using oils for a long time, we use the oils neat a lot mm -hmm. and um, now a lot of people diffuse the oils because they're not ready to put them mm -hmm. in okay so diffusing jewelry is very popular so I came up with a whole new idea my my first line is called Tinkerbell's gems mm -hmm. and that's the ones with the gems and the hand-blown glass mm -hmm. but now I have what's called earthing tools mm -hmm. and do you know what earthing is yeah, earthing is like I know you take off your feet. I mean, take off your shoes and you go on earth, like walking on the beach or walking on the grass to get the electromagnetic pole from the earth. Yeah, right. So it's whoa, the process of absorbing earth, earth, free flowing energy electrons from the surface to the soles of one's feet. But sometimes we can't always put, especially yeah. up in the cold climate, you can't always put your feet on the ground. So. Um, I came up with, well, you know, but things from the earth connect you to mm -hmm. the earth. So it grounds this, you. Yes, this line of jewelry is a little bit uh, more. Um, oh, cool. So I there's like those. little cairns, like the Irish stack the stones. So these are river rocks and sterling silver and leather. Oops, I don't know. And you put the oils right on the rocks. And I have uh, necklaces. Mm hmm. And um, and then I have earrings. I don't know if I can show you my earrings. I guess you can't see. Here's a whole. I, here's the yeah, whole. Sure. So you can so put you the can oils on the earrings too, yes? Yeah. Yes, but notice yeah. they're not lava rocks. Mm -hmm. There's only one that's a lava rock. These are all different kinds of stones that um, you can diffuse, that diffuse. So um, they come from Polynesia, they come from America. My favorite is this one here that is um, labradorite, Thai silver, and uh, river rocks. Beautiful. So, yes, thank you. And these, that's my favorite pair, but they, they range from $20 to 35 These is These are $35. It's, just, it's the cost of the materials, basically. Mm -hmm. And I, I just want to add something for those who may be joining now. First of all, you know, the the earth is changing. We're going, you know, we already in fourth dimension, we're going to fifth dimension. I've been talking to my friend Marina Jacoby about um, quantum physics and like money, how everything is, you know, kind of like the money's corrupted and something. So we, um, 
we choosing, you know, supporting somebody like you who makes beautiful jewelry or artists or local. I always, you know, if you know me, if you follow me, you know, I always say, follow, you know, support local farmers, support local businesses, because, you know, we supporting, it's like, um, we're creating this new earth, you know, instead of paying these big companies, you know, these companies who are ruling the world and destroying the earth, you know, polluting and all this stuff, which I'm not going to be getting into in this in, in this video. That's why, I, you know, I'm doing these videos, you know, to to introduce you to my friends, entrepreneurs like you, you know, wonderful people who are doing amazing things. So uh, I Thank hope you. you, you know, I hope you're going, you know, to be supporting. So this jewelry is good for you, you know, it's because it grounds you, you know, you can right. you, you put essential oils is good for the environment because you're using all this natural uh, materials and I know you source your materials you always pick very good stuff because you're into energy yourself you know so I'm not uh, you know gonna be saying this but so it's good for everybody you know it's a win-win and, and then we're supporting each other so thank you and that's that's a good point um, regarding supporting small places yeah so when I first started doing this um, I had people in the um, buyers for like Saks Fifth Avenue mm -hmm. these are friends of mine somebody in Los Angeles all mm -hmm. you know uh, hey I don't want to mass produce it mm -hmm. it's it changes the whole thing mm -hmm. when you start mass producing something so each one is handmade they're one to three of a kind and you need yes they all different. different so you know it's like this one I have on is like one of a kind I made it for myself mm -hmm. you know and um, most of my pieces you can wear like three different ways. Mm -hmm. I can take it and I can. Um, oh, this headset thing is interesting. I know. And so let me. So, oh, you can't hear me if I do that. Yeah, you, something was like. Psh. Okay. So you take it, like you can take it and you can double it up. Mm -hmm. See? And make yeah. it shorter. So there's a lot of different ways to wear the pieces. And I also make um, bracelets. Yeah, which I have from you, from you a few bracelets, but I couldn't you find you them. Have, but you don't have the diffusing bracelets. No, I don't have. I just have the one with crystals. And the interesting thing, so here's some of the ones that I, I have. Oh, um, oh, wow. Beautiful. So they're all, they start at $20 and go to $45, depending on Can you just like keep it still? Are. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Beautiful. I'll be ordering some for sure for my... And um, the ones with the scarabs from Egypt are 35 if you didn't go to Egypt, and they're 30 mm -hmm. if you did. Okay. <laughs> and I know who did, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, it was 125 of us or 127? There was 100. Oh, there was 100. Okay. But I think with all the corporate were you, people. Were you, yeah. in the, oh, were you in the first 50? Uh, I don't know. But I was on the bus with you. I know. So well, let me see what else I want to. OK, and going into I think we forgot to um, I think we mentioned something about, you know, less is more with essential oils because we living in such a toxic world. We live in, you know, we bombarded with all this chemicals that we don't even, you know, with from the paint on the walls, you know, from the food we eating, you know, me, I, if you know, if you follow my work, you know, I wrote the book, Raw Food Art about raw, uh, about raw Food, the new book is coming, which actually Sandra contributed beautiful, um, delicious um, recipe. And, you. Uh, but you know, so, so, you know, it's very important to clean up the system, system like, you know, detox and sometimes Sometimes when you detox, you can have, you know, like, you know, a little bit like side effects, like you said, you may have headache or something, but it's very, very crucial that we, that, you know, we, especially moms, you know, when you have kids or if you have pets, you know, really, you know, choose good quality stuff because, you know, there's stuff everywhere. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, so, wait, so you were talking about the food you eat. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Your book, when is your book coming out? we know we oh. hopefully before Christmas Oh, okay great so. good so and I uh, well I can tell you that I'm uh, my birthday is Friday yay happy so, birthday thank you and I'm gonna be 21 now yes I'm not gonna ask so, yeah. yeah happy yeah, birthday so, to you but I, so I'm gonna offer a special on this particular necklace that I just showed you that was my original necklace okay wow beautiful. and it comes in six or seven different colors Okay, mm -hmm. so they're normally $60, they're going to be 50 Wow, and, awesome. And so every bottle comes with, you get 
a reducer. You see the reducer? Mm -hmm. So it makes it just like our Young Living bottles. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and in a funnel. So you okay. don't have like oils pouring out because you know is it right? Yeah. So because the 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 bottles are wide mm -hmm. in the mouth, so they're very easy to put in. But I mm -hmm. do provide a funnel mm -hmm. for those people who buy necklaces mm -hmm. to pour in the um, oil, and so you'll get a funnel and a, uh, a, a orifice reducer. Is what it's and, called. and you package everything so beautifully because I've I've gifted people with some of your jewelry and everybody was so uh, you know so excited and she you always do she's an artist so uh. thank you so here's the colors that it comes in now keep in mind they're all going to be a little bit different so here's your your pur purples let me see and it's over there it's backwards mm -hmm. on my screen so it's it's a little confusing for me so this is uh, yeah yeah I don't know if you can see it. let me pick it up. So this one, this one is um, is blues and and, pur and, mm -hmm. and violet. Okay, it's blues. Okay. My favorite colors. And this one is mm -hmm. going to be your purple. Now the ribbons might vary a little bit, but they're basically hand dyed ribbons. These ribbons come from the UK, and um, there's amethyst and and. Um, I don't know if those are moonstones or Swarovski crystals. I think it's a Swarovski crystal and a pearls. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then this one, the blue one has a lapis heart. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. A lapis heart. And above the lapis heart is a moonstone. And these are all done in sterling. And then this is a crystal. This mm -hmm. is, oops, the wrong way. A crystal, green crystal with an agate. And Swarovski crystal, all in sterling. So let's see this one, which is, which is great for people that they have allergies, because sometimes I know people when they have like that the cheap jewelry that be wearing sterling so that this is made of some from sterling silver because sometimes this happened to me and my sister, like when we wearing you know like cheap jewelry, I get a rash. You know, like when it's hot, oh, you know, oh, so this is, well, you know, I can't, I know, I yeah, can't wear that yeah. stuff. That's but why this is I like, make, your stuff is good quality, use, you know, best I quality. I use real materials. Yes, I My know. materials all have frequency. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, a pot, you know, frequency that's healing. So here, this is, um, maybe a little higher. Oh. Okay. Well, wait, I'm just confused because I'm in reverse perfect, here. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is, um, agate and agate. Okay. It, this is a, a this is actually quartz. This one here. The, oh gosh, it's quartz with um, what do they call that? Termalations in it. Okay, rutilations. And then that's an agate. And down here we have, gosh, I forget what that one's called. But this is a spinel. Me, yeah. The black one is a spinel. The black teardrop. Mm -hmm. See it? Okay. Looks Woo. like pendulum. Yeah, it could be. Some yeah. people do use them for mm -hmm. a pendulum, actually, my brain, mm -hmm. necklaces. And so these are crystals and quartz and a, and a moonstone. This stone. is beautiful for holidays if somebody, you know, celebrates. Yeah. Yeah, so then there's red mm -hmm. and then there's clear. And the clear, I think you, I put it on my picture. There's also one like this that comes with a, dot, a polka dot bottle mm -hmm. with a rainbow ribbon. Mm -hmm. So, but they're clear crystals. And then there's one, there's... The, the pinks mm -hmm. there's the pink there's this kind of pink the dark pink and then there's this pink which is the light pink mm -hmm. okay so those are all the different colors that this special so if you just but what is great about yours that there's like multicolors and the ribbons so they go with actually many different outfits and colors and they are just everywhere i wear them like people always co stop me and compliment me like what is it like i for, you know first of all they love the smell of the oils but they're like what is it it's so pretty so so where, how you. people can find you how people can well i think these. you put my link so it's best to me facebook message me and um, then I can show you the pictures. Most of the pictures are on Facebook because mm -hmm. my pieces are not a m many the same. Mm -hmm. they, you know, they sell. So mm -hmm. I, I, putting them online is challenging mm -hmm. on my website. My so they can also my find you. A ten year old antique. Okay, my website needs to be updated. Okay, and I'm working on that at the moment. Okay, good. So. But so they can get you on Tinkerbell, Tinkerbell Gems, or Sandra, both both of you. And well, can... actually, Tinkerbell Gems is my Sandra Bologna website. Okay. The, the jewelry website is actually called Essential Oil Pe Pendants. Okay. 
So, um, and those are, so I'm going to honor the, if you say that you watched Olinko's interview, mm -hmm. so you just have to say the, the, the code word is birthday, okay? Mm -hmm. And then you'll get the $60 necklace for 50 And this okay. is good till when? Sunday. Till Sunday, Sunday, October, what's Sunday, October? 29th. Okay, perfect. Okay. So yeah, so get, you know, I'm telling you, get, you know, get them when they last because they are really, really gorgeous and, you know, you don't want to miss that. And they go fast, I know, and they are so pretty, so. And so these are interesting too because they have diffusing, the, the, they're gems, but then there's the diffusing pieces are hidden, kind of. See? So you can put the oil, like a drop of oil. See, they're on those pieces. Mm -hmm. See the difference? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very cool. I had a whole line of men's bracelets and they sold out at convention. I have to wow. make more. She yeah. means Young Living Convention. Yeah, sorry. Which I didn't go this year because I yeah, I was visiting my family. But um, yeah, so they are so, so beautiful. What else I want to ask you? Mm -hmm. Anything else we forgot about the jewelry? Well, the only other thing, I do have a few others of the chains, but these are not gems. These are crystals. Now I have a lot of the mm -hmm. ones with the gems. Let's see how these work. This one is is also. I have maybe six of these left. They're mm -hmm. they're crystals. That's like they're mine, not, but uh, they're but not without sterling the silver. They're not sterling mm -hmm. silver, and they're fifty dollars. They're on sale for fifty. They were more, mm -hmm. but I have maybe six uh, necklaces like that. But as far as that, um, you can just look on my Facebook page. I did make some new designs that I don't even know if they're up there or not. I put it on Instagram. And then um, Instagram tells me I get I get likes on Instagram, and I know which ones are the so most. So what popular. what's your name on Instagram for the viewers if they want to follow you? Sandra on Bologna. Okay, so you can follow uh, follow Sandra on all different um, mm -hmm. social media platforms. Okay, and now I want to ask you. So if somebody, it's uh, because I just mentioned a little bit about the biomat. If somebody's interested in the biomat, we're gonna do another class but just you know to if somebody well that can it wait. actually was the biomat that was another thing that got me started because the biomat i started sleeping on in 2006. biomat is made of uh amethyst so look these are these are the amethyst how many pounds is there is in the biomat like the one i have oh i don't know but i know it weighs 35 pounds 35 yeah so yeah. like it's amazing so the biomat um i think influenced me to use the gems mm -hmm. with the oils because um, my friend Teresa Lopez in Chicago, she mm -hmm. she's the queen of Biomat there and she um, is using the essential oils with the Biomat mm -hmm. in her work and um, is a very successful with it and so it made me the idea of combining the two, the crystals with the oils Mm -hmm. when you wear it mm -hmm. and because the frequency is there mm -hmm. you're holding the oil mm -hmm. frequency so y you don't even have to put the oil on you can just have mm -hmm. the bottle in your pocket mm -hmm. you've got the frequency mm -hmm. you know and so that's one way of looking at it because an essential oil is more than its chemical constituents but it's but in energy medicine it's an it's an energy tool mm -hmm. however what's what i think is the best about oils than any other, I don't know I, what to call it, a category of things that you can take mm -hmm. or that you can do, even energy. The reason I like the oils the best is because they not only, they work in all the dimensions of us mm -hmm. because they're alive. Mm -hmm. If you look at these oils under a microscope, they're alive, okay? Mm -hmm. They're young, living oils. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they're alive. So they have a force and they have an energy, but they also have chemical constituents. They have certain properties that do certain things. So a friend of mine that is an energy healer, okay, uh, we were going to something. I don't know where we were going, uh, a gem show or something. And she started coughing or something, and I gave her the thieves oil. And she goes, oh, I can just take the frequency from it. She'll take an herb and she'll take the frequency and she'll send it to somebody or send it to herself. I said, yeah, just, I said, just use the oil. <laughs> and she said, well, it does work faster. And so my point is that 
the oils work on many levels. I was very fortunate because I was using oils for, for uh, uh, my back, to help support my back. And what happened in that process, because I was reminded of the ache in my back, that um, I needed to use it frequently, it changed me emotionally and spiritually. Mm -hmm. So if you are using the oils for a purpose, you could, it has to be integrated in your lifestyle because mm -hmm. when you do it on a regular basis, it, you begin to see the changes that start in your life. That's now, have you found that true? I mean, oh, do you yeah, have a routine? I have a routine and, and for me, it's like I incorporate everything, you know, the diet, the prayer, the meditation, being in nature, like we talk about grounding, the oils, you know, I start my, I never leave my house. This bottle is like the last one because out of stock, uh, white Angelica, like, you know, I, I spray I myself, out. I spray my house, I'm, I spray I'm, my I'm car, wherever I go. This is like my, you know, go to, because, you know, I, I believe in energy. So I, I use the oils. I use the biomite. I use, use the crystals, you know, drink water and I, you know, try and frequency talking about frequency, because maybe some of the people can not you know maybe they don't understand so again this is quantum physics or energy and even when you're saying everything we say the or thing even when we say the word love or joy here we have an oil joy which is amazing you know it, it just up it just brings higher frequency even when you're holding just the oil or even when you're saying the the word joy or love or gratitude and when we you know are angry or sad or or, or depressed and we you know thinking like you know I, my life suck or, you know, I don't feel good. You know, we bringing the frequency lower and, you know, it's kind of like we putting ourselves in the mental and uh, the victim mentality. So it's very, very crucial for us that, you know, we always in charge of our life and we have all these tools, essential oils, crystals, you know, jewelry, uh, food, you know, nature that we can always uplift us, uh, ourselves, and then we uplifting the world, you know, so that's, and, and actually, that's my we thing. Don't we don't need any of this stuff. No, no, we don't. I mean, yeah, we it's don't need just any of this stuff. The oil doesn't just helps heal us. you. The yeah. jewelry no. doesn't heal you. It just holds a frequency. Yes, but and it helps when us. You use it. You helps you mm -hmm. to step into that frequency. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And stay there. That's yeah. that's the key. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, we don't need these, but just sometimes in, as, as I said before, we live in this toxic world, this negative with the, we turn on the TV and it's all this negativity, you know, you go just to the doctor, <laughs> we just going to the doctor's <laughs> office and everybody's complaining and eggs and pains and blah, you know, and flu is come, you know, all this just, you know, so we basically bombard it and it's up to us, you know, you know, to see the light and to see the joy and choose love and choose upliftment. But yeah, so, so these tools, essential oils, crystals, biomat, food, you know, it just exercise, you know, spending time with pets, with positive people. It just helps us to, you know, be in the higher frequency. That's my perspective. So because sometimes we are humans. Yes, yeah. we are humans. Yeah. That's so. for sure. And thank goodness for Young Living Essential Oils yeah. because I'm more human than I used to be. And sometimes, you know, when I have the necklace, sometimes I even forget and then I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, like I can use this oil like I need it right now. So and that's what is great about the oils. Sometimes I'm looking for specific oil and then I grab their like different oil and I'm like, oh, and I try, you know, I use it and like it worked, you know, because it really, like you said, it doesn't really matter what oil or what tool It's just sometimes we just need that extra reminder. It could be a prayer. Yeah. It could be a meditation or it could be an oil. Yes, that's true. And, and they work better if you uh, have a positive outlook, mm -hmm. but they do work whether you do or not. <laughs> oh, and then we need it. And it's so funny because I found with people who actually need them the most, they actually are very like, mm, I don't like the smell. Did you find that? Yeah, well, if you want to know who the negative people are, just bring a bottle of oil, a bottle like, of joy. That stink. In, bring a bottle of joy in the room, open it up and see who leaves. Yeah, no, that is true. <laughs> I have the situation with my mom. She used to really dis didn't like the oils. Now she likes them, but you know, so it's very funny. If anybody has questions for Sandra about essential oils or about her beautiful jewelry, you can post the, the comments. I know a lot of people are going to be watching this later. Please share it. If you think that, you know, somebody will love her jewelry, we're going to be talking about some few other things. Uh, maybe we can talk about food because you are foodie. Can, can you? Yes, we can, but... I don't know who's trying to call me, but somebody's trying to call me. 
I don't know. I... Because it's my phone is connected to my computer. Okay, That's but yeah, if I see, uh, hold on, somebody, people are posting. I can't see the comments. See, sometimes I see, the, hold on, I don't know. Sometimes I see them, sometimes I don't. Do you see comments? I can't. If I turn it live, then I hear the audio. Hold so, on, I'm going to try go this see. way. Maybe I see the comments. Hold on. Um, I don't I... see, I see two likes. Under oh, my I see page. comments. Okay. I love your first design. Um, people saying hi, hi. They love uh, the discount. They they say nice show and job. Um, they love the the oil. So no no questions yet. But yeah, please ask questions if you have any questions about the oils. And uh, how about we tell people if anybody's interested with Young Living, the best thing is I think to to you know try the oils but if you want it you know you can get the starter kit and you can you know contact Sandra or me and we can tell you I don't know if they can see this uh, why is your face real little and mine's real big I, because I want to I want to I want to <laughs> show beautiful jewelry behind me I have a green screen behind me that my husband hooked me up and then I have pictures of your jewelry that's why I see so but uh, anything else we should add about yeah <laughs> Shall I add some? Shall we add something about the essential oils, or well, before okay. we move to food? No, because uh, no. I don't we, know. We were talking yesterday, and you had a great idea how we uh, we can talk about sharing healthy food. Remember, we you, oh yes, yes, yes. One of the topics that I would like to discuss is you know, uh, you know, people know I'm vegan, mm -hmm. and I. I you know, do you know how many Thanksgivings I've been to that people didn't notice that I didn't have turkey on my dish or whatever I had them? So it's not necessary always to tell people, mm -hmm. but nevertheless, people want me to go to dinner with them. They want to go out and here, mm -hmm. and they think that any restaurant is okay. And yes, you can get mm -hmm. certain things at a regular restaurant. You can order a side dish of vegetables. Baked potato. Order, you know, <laughs> baked potato. <laughs> I've done that because there was nothing else. It was just baked potato. And then, and then there's the restaurants that that do the um, they have their they have gluten free pasta and they can make pasta primavera. But you know, I can only. I mean, how many times am I going to do that when I go out yeah. to eat? So it's not really what I want to go out to eat. So there are I, there are vegan restaurants, and those are the ones I like to go to mm -hmm. because the food is out of this world because it's organic. It's mm -hmm. you know it's fresh. It's usually raw. Sometimes they have cooked meals, but so um, it, it's a it's a challenge to um, explain this to people. And um, anyway. So I just wondered what your thoughts were or what some people's thoughts were about that. I mean, have... I can't great see topic. the comments, though, because we're not doing this on Facebook Live. We're doing this on this special app. No, we are doing this on Facebook Live. Yeah, yeah well, I, ca I can't see it. Um, can't. Maybe if you go, but I don't want your your thing to come the on. Yeah, it is live. Down. I have the volume down. Yeah, you can maybe check it out. So, yeah, it is live. I see so yeah, if people. anybody has questions, I know people were sending love. Yeah, there are some. I mean, people just doing comments, but no Maybe questions. Maybe I'll go to your page and see if I can yes. see the link goes but, to kitchen. So okay. first of all, sometimes people are like, sometimes I say I'm vegan, sometimes I say I'm plant based, sometimes people think I'm vegetarian. You know, they don't know the difference. But uh, what I do, um, I'm 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 very very fortunate because I live you know 30 minutes from New York City and there are a lot of restaurants like in New York City there is a lot of vegan restaurants and there are um, you know and I feel like vegan is plant based diet gluten free it's really really like you know getting so popular I've been in Poland for the last I think four years so like four years we didn't have anything you know now we have like chia and quinoa and a lot of raw vegan restaurants so it's really getting popular I think like worldwide which is amazing so yeah but like sometimes we don't want to I don't want to go to like Italian restaurant and eat like gluten-free pasta but sometimes I go for <laughs> you know for for fun but yeah for the last three years or four years I actually spent it in my kitchen you know working on those two cookbooks so I didn't even had a chance to go out that much because you know I was always creating the recipes and uh and you know testing and everything but yeah it could be a challenge you know to, to find well, some good food and I escaped the hurricane, so I, I know left yeah, you... for the hurricane, and I stayed with friends, and I was very grateful. I really had some beautiful place. Mm -hmm. I stayed in beautiful places, 
but um, you know everybody doesn't understand this and it was not some people do but some people don't so I have found it and then they'll they'll make some vegetables with butter you know mm -hmm. it's like oh well you know so, so it's it's sometimes mm -hmm. you can't control it yeah and sometimes yeah. it's yeah it's especially if you you were basically you had no home because you escaped the hurricane in Florida you went in somebody's house so sometimes it's very impolite you know to right you know, yeah. yeah so yeah so, I've been there yeah you just bless it and you yeah. eat it and you're grateful you know yeah so um, but it's interesting that even though um, you can what I've noticed that if I take a bite of something and it's not what it's supposed to be I my system knows immediately mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you have that ever happened to yeah, you? Yeah, uh, uh, this happened to me. Actually, I went to a restaurant and I order vegetarian. They were vegan dumplings and they brought them and they supposed to be with mushrooms. And I took a bite and I'm like, this is meat. And they like everybody at the table. They like this was like a tapas place. And they like, no. And then I said and then I tell the waiter and it says we don't even have on the menu meat dumplings. It's impossible. I said, OK, try it. <laughs> and he says, you know, and I'm like, okay, he went to the, you know, he brought the manager and they like, oh my God, we, we don't make this on the, you know, in, in the house. We order them actually a few less restaurant down who make all these different dumplings. And I think today they got confused because they do make the meat dumplings and, and the vegan them. got it. So, ah. yeah, so, you know, things happen, but yeah, I, what yeah. I do, like if I, if I go for a party, I always bring a dish with me. Sometimes even when I go out, I eat something at home. So I'm not starving, you know, that's a very good thing because if you don't know what it is, sometimes you can even bring some, I don't know, something that you can, I, I always maybe have nuts in my bag. So even if it's a boring salad, I put some cashews or some dry <laughs> fruit. So it's not so boring, you know, so oh, I put a banana. I've done that. I went to this like fish restaurant at the at the shore in the summertime and I sliced some banana and I sprinkled some nuts so you know I had pretty good meal in the fish place so yeah that's yeah but it could be yeah. a challenge and I don't get panic stricken mm -hmm. you know it's no yeah. big deal you yeah. know it's just it's, it's, just it's life as I said like sometimes, sometimes things happen and the yeah. and the frequency go low and then we can just you know we we just uplift or you know and so and then and then some people say oh are you allowed to eat this I said, I'm allowed to eat anything. Yeah. I want, just you know, I'm allowed to. to eat anything I want. I'm just choosing the way I eat because I feel better. Mm -hmm. That's it. It's all about the energy and how I feel eating the frequency of these, eating certain foods. Mm -hmm. And the, you know how it happened, actually, because I was a vegetarian and I ate fish. And then I broke my leg two years ago. And when I broke my leg, um, I had um, three, two plates and 19 screws in my leg. Yeah, I remember because I what, met you at the convention. You were still on the little, you know, little scooter. Oh yeah, right. That was yeah. So okay, but I had the metal in my leg then. Mm -hmm. So after the leg had healed, um, I wanted the metal taken out, but uh, complications set in, um, and so uh, long story short the metal Water. turned my cheers turned my body acidic cheers. oh okay so every time everything i ate i was feeling like my body was acidic mm -hmm. so when i went vegan that didn't happen so it just mm -hmm. turned me vegan. so i went on this master cleanse for 20 days mm -hmm. straight through the holidays Master I cleanse, you meaning with the yeah. with the maple syrup and the lemon juice? The, the that kind of master cleanse, yeah, lemon. Okay. I started December fifteenth and went to January twenty January fifth. Mm -hmm. So I was on it for twenty days, and mm -hmm. um, then I said, "Well, I must well go vegan." Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's how yeah, I did it. That cleanse is very good, you know, to like clean up the system. That's why many times I talk, you know, tell my clients, you know, to do like an elimination diet. Sometimes, sometimes it's hard for people, but some, What's an some elimination people, diet. What is meaning that? Meaning that they slowly like eliminating, maybe like one week they eliminating beef and then maybe the next week they're eliminating pork. Maybe the next week they'll in, or in two weeks or whatever it takes them, they'll eliminating whatever sugar or soda, you know, and just slowly, slowly, because not everybody can do like cold turkey, you know, I mean, everybody has a different process. So, um, yeah, I eliminated pork in high school. So, no, I know. Yeah. So, 
because you were veget you know you were eating very clean already so and obviously you you well, know I, you well, I understand that for many years you know the well, my sister clean diet. my sister told me what was in, found out what was in hot dogs mm -hmm. when she was in college and that turned me against mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff you know for me, it's like, and that's why I wrote the second book, Live, Love, Light, and Fruits from Olenko's Kitchen and Friends. So it's going to actually, you know, the book that your recipe is going to be in it. And it's going to feature 50 uh, different friends from around the world. And so you were the first one who actually I'm interviewing. So I'm going to be interviewing everybody who submitted the recipe, you know, so it's going to be a lot of fun. But yeah, I answer all of questions, how to substitute meat and, you know, how to substitute ah. cream. And I explain what is gluten and, you know, all these different things. And really, I feel like it's never easier time than this time because there, there's a lot of things available you know like a few years ago wasn't I was used to ordering everything online but now I can go to the grocery store like even regular grocery store and I can get stuff so uh, it's really really cool but yeah I'm yeah I'm like that's so awesome that you, you that you went vegan and uh, so you you say you vegan or you say plant-based because sometimes people like they don't like the word vegan I feel uh, well, uh, what I'm, I'm finding out is many of these restaurants that I go to, the waiters are vegan. Mm -hmm. And so uh, they understand and then they figure it out. So, um, but plant-based, so a lot of people don't know what that is, but you, you were saying about, um, uh, I forget what you were saying now. You are saying, so. Plant-based, what's the difference between plant-based and vegan? And raw diet because and I explained this in my in my book and oh, like pescatarian yeah and I explained what is pescatarian and all these different well first I was just didn't eat uh, I ate maybe a, a filet mignon once a year mm -hmm. and um, but I didn't eat pork uh, mm -hmm. for I don't know 40 years I, mm -hmm. I don't even know how long I've mm -hmm. been studying eating pork and then um, it's not 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 that I'm going to get upset even if I do eat it or mm -hmm. something happens. It's just that I choose not to. However, I think that there is um, – I feel different when I eat mm -hmm. those. Foods. And I've been – I've actually been a vegetarian and then went back to eating meat mm -hmm. maybe 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. And um, – I've just experimented with it, but I think that it has to do with digestion can slow you down mm -hmm. when you're eating really dense, heavy foods. And when you're not eating that food, it's not, it's, it's, it's not, it doesn't take a lot of energy to digest the food. Exactly. And um, then I remember years ago reading about the, um, that our intestines were, are long. Yeah. And where Many, many feet, many. Yeah, and, and the, like the cats and the dogs, the carnivores, have mm -hmm. very short ones. So they eat and then, it, it, you know, and they mm -hmm. have a certain kind of teeth. And when you analyze the teeth that we have and the digestion system that we have, it's not really designed for meat. And um, so, and you know, just this information came, I became aware of it over time. Mm -hmm. So I don't have anything against people who want to eat meat. It's just that I don't want to eat it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's like, again, I have, you know, I've been eating, I stopped eating meat many, many years ago when I was like 10 years old because, because oh, I, really? my grandmother had a farm in Poland and as a little girl, I had this, she had all these different animals and she got the little, the eggs and the chicks used to hatch and they were my favorite and I named them and then they grew and, and then one day grandma cut the head off and they ran without the head. Yeah. Because the nurse still works. And yeah. And then I said, I can't because I put, you know, together as a small child oh this is where the meat comes from so for me it was just very disturbing and I was still eating fish but you know it was a process but for me I did it for the animals so but yeah so some people do it for the animals some people so ethical vegans they do it for the animals but then on the other hand they may be eating very uh you know junk vegan food which is all this processed vegan stuff you know so it doesn't mean that they eat healthy but you know they do so everybody has you know uh like vegetarians you know they still eat dairy and eggs you know so everybody has a different uh way and I that's why I wrote the second book and I, I call my diet the rainbow diet I promote you know eating fruits and vegetables as much as you can nobody ever overdid on fruits and vegetables a lot of raw food salads movies juices and talking about meat you know meat can take up to 24 even 36 
hours to digest. When you have a juice, like a cold pressed juice, it takes 15 minutes, 20 minutes to get absorbed in your bloodstream that quickly smoothie like 30 minutes you know maybe 40 minutes but juice is like it's like when we talk about the blood of the essential oils juices this take how long 20 minutes the juice and a smoothie takes 50 like maybe 30 you know everybody has a different digestive system but yeah it gets you know so quick so in yeah, and our digest our teeth are different you know one day i'm gonna have like ethical vegans you know talking you know to and they can explain it to you you know everything but yeah again every educate yourself and actually listen to your body because everybody's body you know re, you know reacts different to different things some people you know can eat you know this thing or can eat gluten cannot eat gluten you know so that's my story so i i do these interviews i you know i love what you're sharing you know to to sh you know to show that there are different perspectives and try something new like go to i mean we forgot to talk about it you have amazing garden you live in florida you have bananas you have mango trees you're growing your own food well hurricane irma did a good yeah, job yeah but you used to <laughs> okay yeah well actually i got all the bananas like we could get off the yeah. tree before I left, and um, I lost a lot of avocados. Mm. But you know, it's it's. I'm grateful to have all this beautiful fruit in my backyard, and the herbs yeah. have not been tended to. So I'm probably going to have to replant that. But yeah, so most of the vegetation mm. in South Florida was um, torn up. Yeah, I mean the place, uh, the Miami fruit. You know, the place that I ordered the fruits and oh, stuff. Yeah. yeah, their their farm was destroyed too. And actually, they submitted the recipe to my book. Actually, two recipes. I'm gonna interview them too. But yeah, it's but things gonna grow because nature is always, you know, is you know, is uh, nature is always, you know, evolving and you know, so we'll, we'll be okay. And I'm glad that you are okay. That's the most important. So your house is down. okay. Yeah, I'm coming. And we'll go to Miami Fruit and we'll go to yeah. Glacier Farms. Yes, I can't wait. But yeah, so. I'm so happy that, you know, you share your story. So, and I'd be interviewing more people, you know, to talk about this. So, uh, I want to ask you some questions now. Like, okay. are you ready? Set. So, two questions. So first, if you can meet anybody in the world from past, future, or now, like famous, not famous, could be an author, writer, anybody, who would that be and why? And, and like, if you can spend day with them, what would you do? And the second question, what's your favorite thing that Sandra likes to do that maybe we don't know? Dance. Dance? Oh, I love dancing too. What I'm kind of dance? I'm a dancer. I was a disco queen. Oh, I love disco <laughs> too. We should go disco <laughs> dancing then. So I, uh, yeah, I used to dance a lot. And so I remember when my surgery happened on my ankle, I said to my doctor, I'd be able to dance. He said, eventually. Awesome. So right now I'm, I'm, I just actually haven't been able to wear heels though, mm -hmm. but I put on my, some, some heels and it didn't hurt my foot. So I think eventually maybe, but I can cool. still dance on flats, you know. How about platforms? Can you wear platform shoes? Would be better. I have platform yeah. shoes, honey. Okay. I love my. I, I bet shoes. you do. Yeah. I wish I could get find a a pair of those uh, gold lame uh, platforms that were four inches high that I used to have in the seventies. Yeah. I love those shoes. Yeah, I was I was on um, disco I dancer. Know. I was on that show. What's it called? I don't know. It was some kind of disco show contest. I don't know. Wow. Yeah. So you were you were a no was, joke disco dancer. I used to spin like a top. Let's put it. That I way. didn't know that about you. Awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so I like to watch Dancing with the Stars. Yeah, I love that show too. So so that's that's something you might not. There know. There we go. Then so with yeah. all these other degrees that you have and spirituality, you you love disco dancing. Yeah, I Glad do. And that. I don't know why I still like that music, but I, I you know, know. The it's, only so channel, fun. it's so the fun. The only channel I listen to in my car is is on the satellite TV is the disco channel. Yeah. I love it for cleaning my house. It gives me good, you know, it gives me good yeah. motivation. Yeah, yes, it's true. I put the energy oil in the diffuser yeah. and clean the house to disco music. Yes. Yeah. It's true. Okay, and then question number 2. Well, that was the first one. If I could meet somebody, I really can't think of anybody. Um, no. Well, I, you know, there's a lot of people that as I learn about people, like right now, I, I was watching some uh, YouTube videos, you know, while I'm doing things in the house mm -hmm. of lectures. And there was some doctor, I think he's from Germany. And um, one of the things that I just learned about, which I'm getting off topic, was, um, was spore probiotics. Have you ever heard of those? Mm -hmm. You have? Mm -hmm. But yeah, you can tell so, us, I mean, the viewers. 
Well, I, it's just that the spore probiotics are so powerful. Mm -hmm. I mean, I believe in taking probiotics. I've been taking probiotics. So when I started doing the master cleanse, when I started doing the oils, and I, can we talk about that for a little bit? Sure. Okay. Nobody I has should questions I should anything? interview. I should in interview Tom one day. Well, Tom is where I learned. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's, okay. I, I, yeah, he'll be so a good person. I can tell you yeah, there are questions I... they ask about your website, but somebody already responded. What's your website? And, uh, yeah. So when my friends came to the hospital and, and gave me this, oh, I didn't talk about the medical stuff that I went no, through. No, we can't. Okay. And we forgot to say a disclaimer. This is only for educational and yeah. informational purposes only. So Okay, so what happened is um, I went to, um, after I had my first raindrop, I said, I'm going to learn how to do this, right? So I checked out to where, this was in 2000 when I signed up for the oils. So I checked and the next uh, raindrop training was in Hawaii. And I said, oh, I've always wanted to go to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. So I cashed in frequent flyer miles and I got a roommate on the internet somewhere and from, she was from Albuquerque and I went to do the level one training in Hawaii. That's so cool. And that's where I, and I met um, Vicki Opfer and Jeffrey mm -hmm. Lewis and who mm -hmm. are my upline and um, I I was fortunate enough to get a raindrop from Vicky. I was like, you know how they pull people up? So I mm -hmm. got a raindrop. I was on the table and I got a raindrop from Vicky. So I was like, you know, you know, got the good teacher on me, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so, you got the best. Yes, exactly. So I was thrilled and um, I met uh, some Hawaiian, si I call them my hula sisters. Mm -hmm. And I'm still in touch with them. That was I love uh, Hawaii. It's like my favorite. 16 place. years ago, you know, and um, was an awesome experience. And so then um, the next, you had to do two level ones in order to go to a level two back then. Okay, can can I just say something? Raindrop yeah. massage. We're talking about It's using the no, it's raindrop oil. technique. No, yeah, but they but the but they gave okay. you the massage because we didn't. Like, some well, people may not, not know what that is. Yes, do. it's an energetic technique. Yeah. It's an energetic mm -hmm. technique mm -hmm. applied using essential oils. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's not it's some a little massage. Mm -hmm. So um, that's basically what I learned, and um, they also did lymphatic drainage, and there was a chemical part of it. So the, the training is just a little bit different than it is now. But then there was you had to do two level ones to go to a level two, and level two was emotional work. Okay, so the second level one I went to was in Terrytown, New York. But we didn't know each other. No. And so I don't even know if you were in the... No, I wasn't now. in Terrytown then. And that was in 2001. And um, maybe you had to do three level ones. Because then I went to the 2001 convention mm -hmm. and Gary did a rain... Get, okay, so let me, I'm jumping ahead of myself. So I go to Terrytown, New York. And um, I met Gail Ann there. And, was, and, and um, Tom was a teacher. Okay, Tom Woloshin was a teacher for the Vitaflex. Mm -hmm. And I was on the table for the Vitaflex. Wow, oh. like you. Yeah, so, and there was a lot of people there. So, and then um, met Tom, and prior to that, I had been doing the Master Cleanse. And at one point, I felt so good doing the Master Cleanse after three days because I was drinking the lemonade. And then I felt so good, I forgot to drink the rest of the lemonade. And the key about the lemonade diet is you must drink a minimum yeah. of six glasses or more. He insists you drink eight. So the next day I passed out and hit my head on the coffee table. And all my friends and neighbors promised me never to do this program again, this lemonade diet, right? So I get Tom to come down here and teach everybody. So now I can do the master cleanse again. Mm -hmm. And you can, so, for those who cannot get a class with him, you can get his book. Right, and he's, yes, so the book, yeah, yeah the complete master cleanse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and then whenever I went to the third level one with Gary, I figured, well, I'm going to get a raindrop from Gary, you know, I'm getting, mm -hmm. but that didn't happen. Those were all prearranged. Mm -hmm. So that's my um, level one story. And then in 2001, right after 911, there was a level two training in Coeur d'Alene. And that's where we did the emotional, the first time I did the emotional uh, work with um, the oils. 
That's so awesome. Yeah, I I know you've done so many different trainings. May and maybe you know one day we can have a like cooking class with the oils together. That would be so fun, like a retreat almost. Yeah, yes, yeah, it sounds like a good idea. But but Egypt was the best. Oh yeah, I mean yeah. That but as I said, that's another that's another story. Let me see if I'm. I don't know. I can't see any. I, I've got another page here, and if I click on are online some post kitchen, but... I don't see anything. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't. I don't me. even see the post on Olinko's Kitchen. Oh yeah, I do. Yeah, it's on okay, the top. Okay, I see. I see comments. It's Bill Winters. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna share this later on my website, Olenko's Kitchen. I'm okay. gonna share it on the YouTube, and you I can give it to you. You can post it, you know, on your when you have your website and on your page. Let me see. Uh, what else do they wanna talk? So yeah, so you uh, you know get you know these are the these are the her Sandra's beautiful. Let me see. I don't wanna make Sandra's beautiful necklaces hand, that we were hand blown bottles. Yeah, but I think I, I don't know if you can that. see it uh, here. They they are so beautiful and you can you know use them and put the essential oils in it, pure essential oils. Yeah. So and she's giving for those who are just watching now and she's giving them because it's her birthday on Friday. So she's giving a special discount, so you can get them instead of sixty dollars for fifty dollars. So make sure that you contact her, send her a message, or on Sandra Bologna or on her website. I mean a Facebook page, which is what your Facebook page is. Inkle Bell Gems Facebook, something like this. It's, it's okay. Facebook dot com yeah. slash Tinkerbell's Gems is my yeah. Facebook page. My jewelry page is Facebook dot com slash Essential Oil Pendants. Okay. But if you want to look at the pictures of the jewelry, it's under Essential Oil Pendants. If you want to contact me, yeah. it's Tinkerbell's Gems. And if somebody like likes something that maybe is not now anymore, you can always. Well, if somebody wants something custom. Yeah. I can do something custom like I did with this piece, mm -hmm. but I don't know what it's going to cost yeah. because it's a yeah. matter of what the materials are and what mm -hmm. you can find, mm -hmm. you know. But most of my, like, higher-end pieces, mm -hmm. like a piece like this is like 150 Yeah, like this I, one I have. Uh, this that was one. probably 100 or 100 Yeah, yeah. like this um, one. With, yeah. What is that one? What is that? Uh, with Chris, with different, hold on, can you see it? Nope. Is it oh. is it blue crystals or moonstone? This is moonstone. Oh, that one's one hundred and fifty. That yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, um, and the other one, the your one with the what I don't call it a Buddha, I call it a um, a bodhisattva. Yeah, and yeah, a, bodhi, a bodhisattva is an enlightened human. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can't see it because it's blue turquoise, and then the green screen it makes it like mm -hmm. you can't see it; it just disappears because with the green with the green screen. Yeah, oh. I love this one. Everybody, yeah, because turquoise is my favorite. That has but, yeah. amethyst and turquoise mm -hmm. with it. Yeah, yeah, I love, I love this one. So, so, and then you make the one with the ribbons, then handmade ribbons. The ribbons are less money, yeah, yeah. and I make those are sixty normal. And then you're making the new one also with the diffuser with the for earthing. Yes, so they range. These start. I don't have those. These start at twenty five dollars. So, mm -hmm. like something like this. This is suede, and this is coral, and this is a mood bead. <laughs> mm -hmm. The mood bead doesn't diffuse, but you know those mood beads? Mm -hmm. the, they changed colors? Yeah, you hold it. I mm -hmm. think, yeah, see, it changes colors. And then these are copper. These are handmade beads from Africa. I get really mm -hmm. different kinds of Oh, I know. When you... So these are, like this one here is um, aquamarine from Afghanistan. See that? Wow, very international. Yeah, yeah, it's a different. Yeah, because different stones and different crystals come from different parts. So yeah, what time is it? Yeah, I think we've been going on almost for an hour and a half. So okay, I think yeah. that's what anything think? else that we forgot and want to add. What's next for you? Anything exciting? Are you gonna be on any like shows or like you know any with your jewelry or any classes, workshops? Um, I don't know actually. No, I usually Just chilling. After hurricane, well, <laughs> we're planning to do the aroma sharing event next convention, mm -hmm. and uh, Christy West usually has an event uh, every year, but she said she's not having vendors this year, mm -hmm. so that's usually in January. I think it's in January this year, um, and that's in Florida. So I don't really um, do a lot of shows. Mm -hmm. 
I just do it once or twice a year. Mm -hmm. I do events and I have repeat customers, the people mm -hmm. that order from me. But that's it because my focus is the oils and this mm -hmm. is just uh, a, a, a thing that I love to do as well. But in two weeks, we're going we're gonna to do the webinar with me about the biomat. So, and okay. Yeah, so then people, if, they, if you have, you know, if you want to learn more information about that, so I give you the link. This Saturday, I'm doing the uh, webinar. I'm going to give pe the, the link this week. I'm going to be talking about, you know, healthy diet and, you know, how you can transition your whole family, you know, on a healthy diet with, you know, I have a lot of questions from moms. They have picky eaters, kids, you know, picky husbands, you know, stuff like this, what to shop and where to shop and how to do the, all the substitutes. So that's what I'm going to be doing this Saturday. So please join me for that. And yeah, and make sure that you share this. If you think this can help someone, you know, uh, please, you know, help Sandra. She does this, you know, beautiful necklaces and earrings and jewelry. I really love her and, you know, supporting her mission. And, you know, she's doing this. Because, you know, she loves the oils and she loves uplifting people. And she's such a wonderful person. Yeah, the oils are the best. The oils are definitely the best. And your cat didn't come to join you, Romeo. Well, she has the cutest cat. Oh, my sleeping. God. He's sleeping. Why do you want to see him? I mean, he's like, oh, my God. No, I mean, can you wait? I'd have to take the computer over there. Okay. So, let's see. He's, he's Let me take so... the mask. Let's see. Her cat is so okay. cute. He's Romy! A per he is a Persian cat? Yeah, where is he? Yeah. Is he, where are you, Romeo? Romy! Oh, Romy. he's a little blurry, but oh, maybe because okay. he's moving. Oh, yeah, so hi! He's <laughs> the cutest little, he has like the cutest little face. But now he's like, okay, I'm sleeping, leave me alone. Oh, hi! Hi, Romeo, you on Facebook Live? I can't get it right. <laughs> yeah, and he, he's like, okay, let me sleep. I'm taking a cat nap. Oh, yeah, hi. Look at your pu beautiful tongue. We, Yeah, I love the animals. I love kitties, and I love essential oils. And I love Sandra, <laughs> and I love Romeo. So I hope, you know, you had fun, everyone. And, yeah, I'll be doing more interviews. For those who are in my book, you know, I'll be interviewing you, so I'll be contacting you soon. For our Young Living friends, you know, hello and, you know, hope to see you guys soon. And, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And thank you, Sandra, for this interview. Thank uh, you. You know, it was so much fun. So you can go to olenkoskitchen.com. I'm going to post this interview. And then you can go to Sandra, as we already talked, all her. Uh, and you can even go on her um, Instagram and, you know, follow her on Instagram. So it was so much fun talking to you. Okay. Good night, Alex. Yes. So good night. Oh, yeah, and I, the oils everywhere. I wish there was a oh. smell button so you can smell it. And I'm yeah, here yeah. Bill says he, my husband Bill's coming. He says he can smell the oils, and yeah, he loves he loves Sutran, like Sutran, the the oil that actually I love it too, and I'm wearing in your necklace, my favorite. So, uh, yeah. So good night, everybody. So yeah, go visit Sandra's, you know, Facebook page. And, you know, check out her beautiful jewelry. I'm telling you, it's so gorgeous. You're going to have so many compliments and this perfect gift. Okay, so bye. Ciao. 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 Live, love, light, and fruits from Olenko's Kitchen and friends. Because now we have friends. Good night. That's it. That's it. Okay, we're off. I don't know about that. Oh, maybe not.